hello out there my name is Koja Emos Maokro so this is my channel I want to use this medium to teach you how to solve regression analysis and how to find co correlation coefficient using your natural display calculator so let's go there oh so the first thing you need to do is to put on your calculator as I have it here so the calculator is on and then the next is to press mode mode 3 yeah the mode 3 then I have a whole lot of options to choose from because I want to solve regression analysis that's linear regression so I'll press 2 so the next thing is to input the value of x and y column x and column y now I start with this so as you can see it's on the screen 2 equal to 13 equal to you know, 14 like that One, eighteen, and the last one twenty-five. Good. Then I move to Y column. Okay, so I start with fifteen, then twenty-eight, followed by forty-nine, followed by thirty-three, followed by thirty-nine. Then 28. So after I put in the data, then the next thing I do is to press AC. Good. Now I'll press Shift 1. So shift 1 will pop up these options for me to select. You know, 1 stands for type. So it depends on the type of data I want to use. If I press 1 now, just as what I had before. Let me go back. So I have the type. I want to change data. Let's see the data I've entered before. If I want to alter anything, probably I made the super input in those data. So I can easily make changes to them. But so now 3 stands for sum. So I can find the sum of x squared. So that's summation x squared. Summation x, summation y squared, summation y, summation y x, summation x cubed, summation x squared y, summation x with power 4. And like that. Now the fifth one is Regression. So now, if I click on five, so I have I can find a I can find the estimated value of x and estimated value of of y. The estimated value of y as you have it today. Now I want to find a what I need to do to press one. Wow, equal to that's the value of a. Five shift one again. So I'll press on five again. Find my b. Can remember the formula for linear regression that's a plus bx y equal to a plus bx so i can find my b that's t equal to well, 0 0.51 like that she one again then i press five i will stand for correlation coefficient so that's what your hours stand for i'll press on three so that's the value the value for correlation coefficient which is from plus one to minus one so now this one we are having positive number, it means there is positive relationship between x and y column. So it means increase in x we need to increase in y but the value we have is 0 0.3. It means it's not going to have weight increase on y. That's why we have 0 0.3. So let's assume we have 0 0.8 something. It means change in x we have greater greater influence on y. We have negative value, it means the reason to be seen them is negative. So that's it. Let me go back. Shift one again. So if I click on C, I can find the minimum value, minimum, uh, minimum x, maximum x, minimum y, and maximum y. So that's it about regression analysis. So with this, we come to the end of how to solve regression analysis using natural display calculator remember what you need to do after inputting data you press ac then you press shift one and then you click on five so you can then find your a find b find your r so it's as simple as that if i click on a now that's one equal to it will give you the value for a thank you very much for your time i really appreciate you goodbye for now Thank
Please ensure you subscribe to this channel. Yeah, I remember your mumble. Bye.